Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create a portable Windows 10 on micro SD, but all actions for external HDD, SSD, and NVMe will be exactly the same. This operating system will be a full-fledged Windows 10 with all the functions, and it can be loaded on any other computer or laptop with Windows, Linux, or Mac OS installed. For Windows 10, the amount of free space on the external drive must be at least 32 GB, but 64 GB is better, for Windows 11 at least 64 GB and for comfortable work 120 GB. If you are doing this with a laptop, then connect your card to a special port on the laptop, which is designed to work with micro SD cards. If you do not have such a port, you can also use any USB card reader. Connect this micro SD card to the special connector of the card writer, after which the USB cable from the card writer needs to be connected to the USB port of the laptop, or you can do the same with a desktop PC. I open this PC, and here we see my C drive. Naturally, due to our further actions, all the files on the C drive will remain completely unchanged. I connect my micro SD card, and as you can see, immediately after connecting, my 128 GB micro SD card appeared in Explorer under the letter D. Now to create a portable Windows 10, we need to download the Windows 10 ISO file to the computer. To do this, open the description of my video, and click the link to the official Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft website has opened where you can download the official image of Windows 10, and on this page you can find out all the details of the rules for using Windows 10. To download the Windows 10 ISO file, click here and the Media Creation tool will download to your computer, with the help of which I will download the Windows 10 ISO file. I close the browser and open Explorer. Open the Downloads folder and double-click on the Media Creation Tool shortcut. Here you need to accept the license terms. We will not update the computer, we need to download the Windows 10 ISO, next. If you uncheck the box, then you can select any language here. I'm leaving English. Next. In this window you need to select the ISO file. Next. And then select the folder for the ISO file. Save. The ISO file has started downloading to your computer and you don't need to do anything for a while. You can continue working on your computer or relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. The ISO download has completed. Finish. And now we need to download the application to write the ISO file to the USB memory drive. For this purpose, I suggest one of the best free applications in this line, this is the Rufus application. Open the description of my video. And click the link to the official Rufus download page. Scroll down a little, and click, here. This is a small application and it quickly downloaded to the computer, I close the browser and open the downloads folder. I double click on the shortcut and the Rufus interface opens. Everything is simple and clear here, at the top we see my micro SD. If you decide to burn the ISO to a hard USB drive, check the box here, click select, and select Windows ISO, open. Now we need to select the ISO recording method. This is Windows to go. Here you need to select a disk partition scheme, MBR, or GPT. If your micro SD card is GPT, then you need to select GPT in Rufus, but if the micro SD is MBR, then you need to select MBR. To find out the layout of the micro SD partition, right click on the button, start, and select, disk management. 
In this window, right-click microSD and select, Properties. Here you need to open the Volumes tab, and in this tab we see that the partition scheme of my microSD is GPT, this means that in Rufus you also need to select GPT. Now you can click, Start, and in the window that opens you need to select the Windows 10 you need. To save a license for Windows 10 on a micro SD, you must select the same version as on your computer. If you had Windows Home, choose Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, then choose Windows 10 Pro, and your license will apply to this Windows in the same way. In the window that opens, you can select the settings at your discretion, I will not check the box in the top line so that using this flash drive I can remove the virus on another computer, transfer files from the disk to another disk, and so on, OK. Rufus warns us that during the installation of Windows on the micro SD, all data will be completely deleted, I click, OK, and the process of creating a portable Windows 10 has begun. The process of creating a portable Windows 10 has completed and I am closing Rufus. Let's open this PC and see how portable Windows 10 was created. I open the micro SD and here we see all the necessary Windows 10 files, now we need to continue installing Windows 10 and to do this we need to restart the computer, call up the boot menu and load the micro SD. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I pressed the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. There is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu has opened, most likely your micro SD in the boot menu will look different, using the keyboard you need to go to the micro SD, press, enter. The Windows 10 installation process has begun and the computer should reboot several times. In this window you need to select your region. Yes. Select a keyboard layout, yes. I'll skip this. In this window you need to read the license terms, accept. I will use this Windows 10 for personal use. Next. In this window, you can sign in to your Microsoft account. To create a new Microsoft account, you need to click here. To create a local account, click here. In this window you need to enter your account name. Next. I turn off all privacy settings so Windows 10 will run a little faster. Accept. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there is very little time left before the process is completed. Yes, the installation of Windows 10 was completed successfully. I hope the whole process went smoothly for you too. Let's open this PC and see what Drive C looks like on a micro SD. Yes, Drive C looks quite unusual here. Instead of the Windows 10 logo we see an icon of a USB flash drive. The disk with my Windows 11 is called Disk D here, and all the files on this disk have not changed at all. I open Settings, then the Accounts window. Here we see that Windows 10 on micro SD is managed by a local account, to log into a Microsoft account or create a new Microsoft account click here. Let's check how the activation of this Windows 10 went, for this I will open the update and security section, then open the activation tab. Yes, the new Windows 10 was activated automatically according to my Microsoft digital license. This concludes my video, thank you very much my friends and I hope this will help you to use your computer successfully. Have a nice day, everyone.